top. Darkness gets tri triggered, so Weeha and Poppy can keep on fighting. And they're looking for March. He's not level 6 just yet. They find this pick off, which they will. He's over in the tree line. He'll do some decent damage with the axes. This happens a little bit later into the game. They can just keep pushing. She'll have mass serpent wards up shortly. Oh, kill. Goes for the kill with the invis rune. Ooh, she caught him out. But no really requiem, nice. just uh, just raises. Yeah, I, I think secret just don't have the vision right now on the map. Like they have one word up, but I feel they should have a lot better vision at the moment. Well, Kiro finds the Ember Spirit, trying to raise him out, but actually well, there's no searing chains, there's no flame guard as well. So when we force oh, to use his spirit, but they're gonna get the fissure over. So Puppy in a little bit of trouble with the raises to connect. Febby can't get the sun off. I don't know if that's it. It won't be enough damage to kill off the Shadow Shaman. In fact, he just turns around and shocks him. Dyer's middle tower. Here comes the Lich and the Ember against top. The shackles from Poppy's gonna do the work. He has to back up, however. SF will get the raises off as they can kill off QO. It's still worth it. The Lich is gonna bounce up and over to QO. He splits himself off from the creep wave. But Ember's too low. He does it with down there. So they are gonna get the perfect moment. It's over on Weeha. Requiem of Souls not required. Raise one, raise two. Just beat into him and there goes Weeha. March. Just sticking around to help out. He did have that roar available. Yeah, that was a very nice kill because that was a lot of uh, much needed XP for the Beastmaster and Shaker. BM is six now. And they're just gonna three man this tower. Yep. What's probably gonna do? Roar. Apart from die, the roar, raise one and uh, raise two. Both are able to connect. And with the haste and QO, can keep pushing for this one and find probably a third kill. Goes for Pilot Eye trying to use that tree line perfectly. Able to do so. Gets another frost blast off for QO up to the hillside. And we'll start to bottle this way up. That T1 tower is still not dead. And Secret, they're TPing in for this Febby. He's got Echo Slam as well as Fissure. And yeah, a very smart cancel there from Weeha. The spider links give a lot of vision. Oh, well, Actually. there's your jump. Goes after Misery, slows him down, but the Lichotti's flying in. The roar will be there, and they have to put themselves up a little bit more because Hark up taking too much damage from this. It's just too easy to bounce it around. The Lichotti will do its work. Beastmaster, okay, it's up on top lane. The Fissure flies out. Uh, you did lose your, your Broodmother in this, but Puppy gets those mass open ones down, and QO locked in position. They've got no other controls, but with the shackles, there she is. Puppy holding the SF in position. The mass open ones need to focus him down before Puppy is still alive until he moves forward. He'll find the last hit. He'll lose his life for it. Maybe that Fissure from Febby can give him a little bit more freedom. There's a three for two trade off, and okay, there's no freedom. Riha <laughs> walks in. Freeze up two. So it's gonna be 30 more seconds Look. for nighttime to come out. So this Look at Misery is gonna go. die before nighttime. Misery's just running the spilings in. He triggers the dust very early on, so that won't be there later on. And you're right, Roshan will end up dying. And, and it won't have nighttime either yet. It's like 20 more seconds. Okay, so Secret doesn't doesn't want to fight this. Misery just wants to They're bail out. To get back in, Fizz. The oh, BTs are coming in though, that's coming on the back of one of the spiders. The spider fist searing chain not gonna connect. The hex will be there and March gets ward trapped. He's got no way to get out of this. The shackles from Poppy making sure there's no extra roar as well. Take out two, you burn the wards. Because we just sit here going, what are they doing? Like, is it mass indecision? Nah. March, you could be in trouble. There goes your hex, a lot more support than Poppy. He just commits the wards. He doesn't care, he wants the kill, and he's gonna find it over on March. One more attack, ah, it's there. The Fissure, March cares the DP, but he just lost his oh. gem of true sight. That is huge. Oh, they don't see it. They don't know that he had a gem. Uh, they should, they, no, they see it. They definitely see it. There's Observer Wards as well as Mass Serpent Wards. Now they go for the Shackle over on the Earthshaker. Weeha's right behind it. The Fissure will still be able to come out as the Echo Set keeps the control coming, but the Lid Jolly will end up killing off Ebby as well. Bounce back over to the Huskar. Not where they want to be, but yeah, that's Misery with his BKB diving in almost to the fountain. This is a message being sent by a secret MVP in this trashing of a 2 0. It's a take from MVP, but nope. <laughs> The man who has the last word is the one who's gonna get out alive. I hate to say, sounds not being played. Agar, get yourself out of here. The roar goes on the Ember Spirit Eternal Envy. Caught out, looking to die in style. He goes for the fight of fist damage, and the, the smiling is still in there. In the kill over on the Dazzle, the Ember Spirit got the Searing Chains, and now it's just a man mode. Misery versus Huskar. Unfortunately, more of a man is the Brute Bobber, and that will be a five hero wipe on MVP. The bottom rank's taken out. The mid will probably follow directly after, but it won't have enough time. GG is the call. Team Secret will beat out MVP and secure themselves the last spot in the semifinals. <sighs> Solid man.